how do you handle off-road lights? Oh, that's actually a really good question. So we have a lot of people who put on these these giant bars of LED. Yeah. Uh, and, and I've had people in the chat argue with me because I say they're off-road lights. They cannot be focused or directed as your headlights. You're only allowed to have a maximum in Ontario of four lights carrying a minimum of, or sorry, once they hit 300 candela, they're, they're considered focused headlights. You can have no more than four lit at the same time. Then you have a problem. And yeah. So they, in Ontario, you don't have to cover them, but you can't have them on. Yeah. And in Alberta, again, you don't have to cover them, but you can't have them on. As soon as you're on private property or you're in a field, power them on. In BC, what we hear a lot is as soon as Albertans cross from Alberta to BC, they have to put a cover on them because in, really? in BC, you have to have, they have to be covered. That's very you can't even see the lens. So yeah. And everyone out here has these, these big well, LED strips on their trucks, their lifted trucks. So well, lifted trucks is a whole other thing. Ontario, we actually have a maximum distance between center of headlight to ground. There's a minimum yeah. and a maximum, which someone asked me about uh, suspension earlier. I forgot to mention that. Uh, if you slam your car, you may be in violation of the, of, of the light truck and passenger vehicle code which is what the HTA references for whether or not a vehicle is safe. So yeah. I, I question when you have a monster truck, how it could possibly be on the road. There's no bumper. It's you, you chew up pedestrians. It's, it shouldn't be on the road. So in Alberta, when it comes to lifted vehicles, uh, we actually have a law that says the bumper has to be so high off the ground. So as long as the bumper is within, I think it's a meter and a half. So if you have that's, a 20 that's foot a big... tall vehicle, but you lower the bumper, you might be compliant. Okay. With the bumper, <laughs> you might be compliant. Gotcha. A gotcha. lot of other things probably yes. not. How about but for uh, and, and sorry, you just made me think of tires. Uh, do you have a specific uh, amount of space or um, over uh, overage for when you have oversized tires? How much they can stick out? So, like you guys, you have to have a for as wide as the tire is, you have to have a fender that accommodates that tire. You can't have any exposed tread on the side because, especially out here, rocks are flying everywhere. So as soon as that tread is exposed outside of the fender, it's too big. I was told once that a quarter inch was a, was an acceptable uh, overage where the tire could protrude, but I don't think that's accurate. Uh, yeah. But that was what a mechanic told me once. And, but they uh, drive like garbage when they're that big. But they look so cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just, and they don't know, turn well? Like, no, oh, there's, there's no good that comes with it. With you got to crank it, but, your music up because the road noise is so bad. Like, I don't even. So I, I, I actually want proper slicks. I, I drive a big truck. Yeah. I want proper tires because I don't even want yeah. semi off road tires because they yeah. are noisy. I don't want that yeah. that, that hum. Uh, but I'm an old man, apparently. And uh, yeah. once upon a time, I would have loved big tires. I, I Yeah. The difference in road noise is noticeable. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. Big time. And then, you know, the bigger the tire you go, uh, if they don't get properly put on by the, you know, whoever's putting them on, that could affect your speedometer. That could affect the speed of the vehicle. And, and so, you're responsible and a lot for of the people don't speed. do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're responsible for the actual speed, not what shows up in your speedometer. So exactly. you might be saying, I'm cooking right at the speed limit. Uh, but no, yeah. uh, you're you're either above or below it. And, and you know, you funny, you pull them over for speeding and they always go, oh, I don't think I got my tires calibrated. It's like, well, don't tell me that because now that's another, that's a whole other issue. It shouldn't yeah. be that much of a difference, but yeah. uh, it's certainly not an excuse. I, I used yeah. to have people show up in court all the time with, I, I took it to the mechanic and I spent $500 and now it's good. And oddly enough, uh, I've had some of those people be successful in court and others not. 